Anthony Joshua, born October 15th, 1989. Watford, Hertfordshire, England. I might. 2012, he won the Olympic gold in London, England. As a pro, he's defeated everyone he's faced. Most namely, childhood bully, Dillian White, Carlos Takam, Joseph Parker, and former champion, undefeated for over 10 years, Vladimir Klitschko. Now, he faces maybe his biggest test, a name relatively unknown to those in the West due to him fighting mainly in the Far East, Alexander Povetkin. Hi, I am looking for Alexander Povetkin. Did you say Alexander Ovechkin? Born in Kursk, Russia, September 2nd, 1979, two days before Maxim Fenegunov, three days before me, and six days before Pink, Alexander Povetkin boasts a spectacular amateur career including the 2004 Olympic gold in Athens. As a pro, he's defeated Chris Bird, Eddie Chambers, Ruslan Chigayov, Marco Hook, and also Carlos Takam, except he knocked Takam out cold. His only loss comes to Vladimir Klitschko, where he was treated less like a boxer and more like Marcellus Wallace in Pulp Fiction. Shot, Differences? That Pulp Fiction scene only went on for two minutes, whereas Kalichko and Pavekin went on for 47 minutes. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Pavekin's gotten older, although his performances of late against respectable opponents still looks like one of the best in the world. His opponent, AJ, is 10 years younger, 7 inch reach advantage. 4 inch height advantage, and he's also black. But you remember this, you are black. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm trying to inspire you, you know, it's, it's a roots kind of thing. It's, it's like a motivation thing. This fight looks like it could be pretty exciting. Anthony Joshua, you can fight on the inside, but he's more of an outside fighter, kind of like Lennox Lewis. Pavekin, it's a great inside combination fighter, kind of like Mike Tyson. Except Pavekin doesn't have a lisp, he only speaks Russian, he has no criminal record, and he's white, so nobody really cares. Recently though, comments have surfaced that Alexander Pavekin is gay. Carlos, can we run the clip? If we look here, you'll notice that Pavekin is giving a quick bicep rub to Anthony Joshua. Now let's show the part where during the press conference, Alexander Provekin seems to be trying to comfort Anthony Joshua right after Big Baby Miller crashed the conference, trash talking Anthony Joshua. later after the fight. Do you mind? Yeah. Oh no, that troublemaker is still there. The American big baby Miller. Oh. Why does he pay attention to him? I wish me and him could just be friends. I also have a nice ivory chessboard at my house. It was previously played on by a grandmaster named Karpov. Well, there you have it. Some very peculiar build-ups to this fight, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. So make sure to subscribe and hit that like button, because... And we'll see you next video.